out here on a beautiful Saturday morning uh, with about 150 kids doing a fishing with a cop event. And just enjoying the day and trying to keep the lines on tackle. And a few of them are catching some fish, but it's, it's still a good day. They all go home with the tackle box and the fishing pole. This is the second year they've done this, and um, some of the local uh, businessmen make some great donations for the kids, and the policemen from the area come out here, game wardens, troopers, deputies, policemen, and uh, go out here and have a good time. Put it on the foot pole. Just take that off and put it on the foot pole. Can I borrow one? Pinch it on there. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Kind of get it on there and kind of pinch it with your hands. Yep. There you go. <laughs> it does, huh? It's our second annual Fishing with a Cop. Uh, great program. Uh, done nationwide. Like I said we've done it two, two years in a row now. Kids love it. We have 150 kids out of here. I'm not sure how many parents, but everybody seems to be having a great time. It must be all over. You must have the right right bait. Uh-huh. Oh, just to put it, get demonstrate here on some of the more common fish that you can catch in the state. And this big one up here, the silvery one with black lines, is a white uh, white bass. We've got a largemouth bass, bluegill, white crappie, channel catfish, uh, black crappie, uh, black bullhead catfish, a walleye, and a green sunfish. And most of these you can catch right here in Lakewood, especially if you're tail catfish, large amount of fat, and small crappies. Look out! There you go, good chance! Yeah, really? He's gonna try to come guide you I think he got one. I'm Sergeant Brent Rupert, Slime Police Department, and this year for the Fishing's uh, Futures Fishing with the Cop program, we had 111 sponsors uh, through the city, and the only way we can put this on for the kids is for our local support from our local businesses and people with donors. And uh, 
the uh, local community, all the money that's uh, donated stayed locally and it goes back into our community and into our uh, uh, economy to buy the things that we have for the kids. Uh, we got two-man bass boats, we got kayaks, we have grill, uh, we got Coleman grills, we have uh, every child that came got a fishing, uh, got a tackle box and a fishing pole. Uh, they also have uh, uh, coolers, uh, chairs, anything that has to do with outdoors, with fishing and camping, it's all here for the kids. Welcome to North Salina. You're seeing lots of improvements in North Salina, and we're working to keep improving North Salina. North Town. <laughs> All right, well, hey, I'd like to uh, thank you all for coming to the 6th Annual North Salina Community Development Hog Roast. So thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, North Salina Community Development for, for hosting this and uh, all the volunteers that have uh, been here today to help serve food. And uh, so if we could show our appreciation for those folks. Okay, I just kind of want to let you know a few of the other events besides the ones that are going on here. I'd like to thank Bill Burroughs and Sue Scrimmy for the great music once again this year, for volunteering that. And I'm going to go around the horn here. We've got uh, Salina Bicycle, the Bicycle Share. Make sure that uh, you stop by this booth over here uh, and vote for the type of bicycle you would uh, like to see in a bike share program. So stop and see Trillian over here. Uh, Snow, Snow Wizards over here with uh, their, their snow coats. Uh, right over here, these white A-frames are some of the projects that North Salina Community Development has, has been working on over the years and that we're working on currently. In the back, we've got from Lakewood Discovery Center. Pat's back there, she's waving, she's got a lot of critters, uh, snakes and salamanders and so on. Find these all over Kansas and uh, they're very common, but they are not venomous and so uh, they're you don't want to walk up in the wild and pick one up, but this one we've had a Lakewood for quite a while, so it's very friendly. Uh, and so this is the one that we take to programs a lot. Uh, snakes are reptiles, and so they have scales. Most people think a snake is slimy because they look shiny, but they aren't. They uh, are very dry. The, if you look at the back of him, it's very soft. And these little marks on the back are how he moves himself along with all the muscles and uh, the vertebrae. And they are called scoops. And I'm Pat Brooks and I'm a naturalist at Lakewood Discovery Center. Nona from the museum, Smoky Hill Museum is back there with Pioneer Days and other great information and activity for, for kids. So go back and see those two great ladies. Uh, swinging over here, we've got rain barrels. Uh, we'll have a drawing later for rain barrels, but uh, I think we might have some information on rain barrels over here. Uh, see Bob for information on farmer's markets. Uh, and I'll just put a plug in. 
Every Tuesday evening at Grand Avenue Methodist Church in North Carolina is a farmer's market, so hit that. We've also, if you're a renter or a landlord, you need information on um, apartments and, and your rights as renters and tenants in, in Salina, uh, come over here and see Sandy uh, with the City of Salina Community Relations. Also, if you are not a registered voter or you need to register to vote, we've got elections coming up this fall, they're very important. You can come over here and register to vote with the League of Women Voters. So, right over here underneath the really beautiful tree. And, uh, and then clear to the other end here, we have uh, Pepsi has uh, donated uh, the truck here, and we really appreciate uh, Pepsi products here. So I've got a list of, a quick uh, list of the donors and supporters for uh, this Hagra. So I'll just go through the list here, and then we can thank them all. First Bank, Kansas. <laughs> Solomon State Bank, Capurian Catron, Bob's Pawn Shop East, Pestinger Heating and Air, Weiss Fire and Safety, Real Tech, Triad Manufacturing Incorporated, Sam's Club, Snow Wizard, Scott's Taxidermy, Bill Burroughs, Paul and Sharon Hemi, who I think stayed up quite late last night making uh, the hog, uh, roasting the hog. So thank you, Paul. Uh, Liz Lee, Pete Baum, Soggy Dog Salon, and uh, Aaron Householder for providing the sound system. So let's thank all these uh, sponsors who made this possible. Okay, so I'm going to um, hand the mic over to Barb Young, and Barb Young is the president of North Salina Community Development, and uh, she's got a message, but if we could just thank Barb for her leadership and all the work that she's done to promote uh, North Salina. So thank you, Barb. All of you coming out. I just wanted to um, pay uh, give attention to the A-frames. We're working on doing some banners along Broadway, Pacific, and 9th and Santa Fe. We want your input. We're looking at maybe doing maybe throwback, something relating to the old 40 highway coming through or uh, something like that. And then there's uh, architecturally the, the artwork at Five Corners or something related to Hawthorne. We kind of like your feedback. So we can get an idea, we can write a grant, and maybe get, uh, get that going so we have banners welcoming people uh, to Salina off by 70 and coming through the north part of town. So that we have that, and we're also working on the Mountain Patrol. Uh, we're doing some uh, work over there, kind of like we did at Five Corners of Rain Garden for water conservation and to improve the entrance to North Salina off of North Street off of uh, I-135. And we also have... Uh, crime maps and some other things over there. So I want you to take a look. We need your feedback. That kind of gives us the direction where we're going to go. So appreciate you coming out and have a good one. Thanks. Website that we have a sign a city of Sina website. Let us know what you want. 